Here at home tonight, a brand new study finds that Indianapolis does not rank well. Are you ready for it when it comes to America's top Halloween cities? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> WalletHub.com says Indy is the eighth worst among the 100 biggest cities in the country when it comes to trick-or-treating. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker has the reasons behind those scary results. There you go. When you have toddlers and preschoolers, what's celebrating the scariest night of the year? A few days early. Well, for us, really, it's just about the kids and letting them get dressed up and have fun. That's why Liz Donaldson is at the Children's Museum on the Tuesday afternoon before Halloween for this year's Pirates' Revenge Haunted House. This is a wonderful option for everybody. Um, we have a number of different scare levels that families can come to. We do enjoy having an indoor option, especially when it's cold outside. Weather's just one of 16 factors that contributed to Indy's ranking of eighth worst city in which to celebrate Halloween out of the country's 100 most populous cities, according to WalletHub.com. In 2013, we had the most rain on record last year, most recorded snow on record. Anything can happen on Halloween in Indianapolis. The survey looked at other factors, too, like crime rate, the number of abandoned houses, and number of sidewalks for kids to walk on during trick-or-treating. Our neighborhood is really great for sidewalks. That's not the case everywhere, though. If you're going to be in a, in a community that doesn't have a lot of sidewalks and has a high... Uh, population of vehicular traffic, then yes, I would suggest that you take your little ones to a, a, a church event or some other uh, uh, business sponsored uh, uh, Halloween activity where they're in a more secure area without vehicle traffic going back and forth. We just enjoy the organized events and having things to do. We're going to go Friday um, to Mass Ave and do their trick-or-treating um, with the local businesses. If you're out trick-or-treating with your little ghost or goblin, the hours for the city are from 6 to 8 Saturday. IMPD says it will have extra patrols on during that time. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And if you're looking for a bit of a scare this Halloween week, or maybe just a little family fun, <laughs> we've compiled a list of Halloween events. We've also got trick-or-treating times, safety tips, and a slideshow of some really great Halloween costumes. Just go to WTHR.com and you'll find it all when you click on Hot Topic.